Hey guys, you are welcome back once again to my channel. This is Blossom by Kachi H, and today I'm back with another recipe. I baked Ghana wheat bread. Join me and let me show you how I made it. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Very important. Please help me grow this channel. Click on the notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up. Now the ingredients. Two and a half cups all purpose flour. One cup wheat flour. Quarter teaspoon vanilla extract. Half teaspoon grated nutmeg. One tablespoon active dry yeast. 1 teaspoon salt, quarter cup sugar, 1 third cup melted butter, 1 cup milk, then some lemon juice. Now in a mixing bowl, pour all peppers flour into the bowl, then the wheat flour. Now add the grated nutmeg. Then add the salt. Now grease your baking pan with some butter or oil. Then add some flour to the greased pan and spread it in the pan. Then in the warm water, add the yeast. Now add some sugar. Then stir for everything to mix very well. This is done to know whether the yeast is still active to use. Then set aside. After some time, a foam will form on the top of it. That shows it's active. But if there is no foam on top, then it means the yeast is no more active or the water was too hot. Now add the sugar and the melted butter. Now, mix very well for all the ingredients to incorporate. Now, add the milk to the yeast solution. Now, stir. Then, add the vanilla extract. Now, add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Now, with a clean hands, mix everything very well to form a dough. Now, on a clean surface, pour some flour, then put the dough on it.
now knead the dough for 10 to 15 minutes So, after the 15 minutes, the dough should look like this. It should look very stretchy. Now, rub a bowl with some oil. Now, put the dough into the bowl. Now cover with a kitchen towel or napkin. Now place it at a warm place for the dough to rise. You can choose to leave it for an hour or 30 minutes or more, but I chose to leave it for one hour. Now punch the dough to take the air out. Now, transfer the dough back to the working surface. Now, use the rolling pin to flatten the dough. Now, cut the dough into two pieces. Then shape into desired form. Now put the dough into the baking tin. Again, cover the dough and set aside for it to rise. After 10 minutes, the dough has risen. Now set the oven at 350 degrees and bake for 40 to 50 minutes. Oh my god, guys, check it out. My bread is ready. And as you can see, it's super soft and very hot. <laughs> guys join me and let's enjoy this bread it smells really nice